Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio this morning with Mr. Hulun Zhao who is the Secretary General of the ITU and has just been elected for another four years. Mr. Zhao, welcome to the studio and congratulations on your election victory. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be re-elected by ITU family to be the next uh, Secretary General of ITU to lead the ITU for next four years. I'd like to start off by asking you, what is your vision for the next four years? I think that we are uh, uh, very pleased that uh, ITU, uh, as a United Nations specialized agency for ICT, uh, worked with uh, our partners uh, and pushed for the ICT development over the last decade, and we really achieved a lot. Uh, ITU also you know, uh, work very hard with our industries for new technologies such as uh, 4G and 5G. And we are aware that uh, despite of all this uh, marvelous uh, achievement and progress, and we still have uh, very serious challenges that the half population not connected online yet. So to connect those people online to enjoy the ICT benefit for those already connected with those not connected yet, I think it's a big challenge. Now, of course, uh, ITU uh, will continue to work hard with uh, our members, uh, with uh, our partners uh, to leverage the power of ICT by offering the new technologies such as 5G. We will discuss the 5G standards and the spectrum issues next year at our World Radio Communication Conference. And we also try very hard to encourage uh, public and private uh, investment in uh, ICT business, in particular to uh, extend uh, our ICT coverage to those areas not connected yet. So if I may, I, I could use uh, four eyes to highlight uh, my, my missions. Four eyes, infrastructure. So we still have to extend our infrastructure to those areas, not to enjoy this ICT uh, services yet. But we also have to, also, also, don't forget that, we also have to upgrade the current infrastructure with the new technologies, such as the 5G. So this infrastructure covers both innovation for new technologies and uh, extend the infrastructure to those not connected yet. And then the first eye. And the second eye is the investment. Investment is quite important. You, if you don't have investment, you cannot really you know, make things happen. And uh, here, you know, we have to mobilize public and private uh, investment, and in particular, private investment. Of course, to attract the private investment, we have to create a good environment for investment. So we have a lot of uh, uh, you know, jobs, a lot of uh, tasks to uh, to, to, to encourage uh, the investment. On the other hand, uh, there is also, uh, in my opinion, some issues that uh, ICT, uh, marvelous ICT, is good business and always profit making. So that is uh, true to some extent, but not 100% true because uh, ICT also has a lot of risks with high technology. You need uh, investment for new technologies, you need uh, investment for new systems, you know, that. Uh, uh, and such kind of investment is a small uh, amount, but uh, it's quite a huge investment. And then industry who invested, they need uh, need uh, investment to upgrade their services, and they have to also to honor their social uh, social obligations. And they, for example, you know, assist uh, local GDPs. You know, so all this uh, will be heavy for the industry. And on the other hand, the public, uh, I want to have a service with a low price, affordable price, that is clear. And also within industries, there are strong competitions. Therefore, it's, an, it's a profit-making business, but it's also a risk business that many big guys, big names, in the last decade disappeared from our market because they, they cannot survive. So therefore, we still have to to support this business and have uh, 
you know, good environment, good measure to support the industry to further invest in this business. So that investment is my second I. Third I is innovation. Of course, we need an innovation for new technologies, but also we need an innovation to make things more, you know, uh, easily accepted by those who have not been connected yet. That we cannot just follow the same way as we do the business in the past. We have to have innovative ways to do business, you know, to further extend our benefit of ICT to those people. So that is what I mean, innovating. And also innovating here have, you know, give us a lot of wonderful products. But uh, also here you have uh, to understand that uh, innovation is not necessarily coming from big guys. You know, SMEs, small medium-sized entrepreneurs, is a rich source of innovations. And particularly in today's uh, uh, environment, you know, young people, uh, they know technologies, they know the market, they know the challenges, they want to contribute. So they can have a lot of uh, marvelous innovative ideas to help us to extend uh, uh, the new technology of ICT with uh, local solutions to connect the local community. Uh, so this uh, innovation also means, uh, you know, that we have to, uh, to, to, to work hard to mobilize the innovations from big companies, from small, medium-sized entrepreneurs, but also from the social uh, association and uh, to, 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 to look for new ways uh, to do the business. The last I is uh, inclusiveness, and we should not leave anybody behind. So we, we, we are working with uh, uh, the general uh, you know, uh, beneficial groups. And for those uh, groups like uh, handicapped people, like uh, aged people, like uh, children, like uh, uh, you know, uh, those who are in the remote uh, areas, you know, have a lot of difficulty to be connected. So this uh, we have to to make sure that uh, you know we can go together with all these people and we should not leave anybody behind. So I have four eyes, four eyes, infrastructure, investment, innovation and inclusiveness. So this will be uh, my, uh, my mind, uh, my agenda. What do you see as the top challenges facing the union in the next few years? Yeah, for, as far as uh, ITU uh, is concerned, ITU of course uh, they enjoyed uh, 153 years history of uh, development. And why ITU still that kind of uh, relevant? Because ITU always uh, work with the uh, spirit of innovation. And we work with uh, the industries for new technologies, you know, from the very beginning up till now. And uh, that is uh, one of the secrets why we are still relevant. Uh, although our history is long, but uh, our spirit is young. You know, that uh, we work with uh, uh, industries for this uh, uh, technology. But on the other hand, as far as uh, uh, organization concerned, I see also a problem that uh, uh, we, we have to improve our efficiency because we have limited resources, human resources, financial resources, and expectation from uh, the public uh, is ever increasing. So we have to, to use the limited resources uh, to do more rather than to do less and to change uh, uh, our task, you know, we have to, you know, to, to find new ways to, uh, to work. Uh, therefore, the efficiency is uh, very important. Of course, um, as older organizations, you know, we are quite uh, successful and appreciated by our members. Uh, that uh, why this time they unanimously elected me as the new Secretary General, because they found that the ITU is uh, really the good uh, organization, good platform to facilitate uh, SDG development uh, by the ICT's development. And um, they consider that uh, the ICT could uh, play uh, important roles, to some extent uh, key roles, in the next uh, uh, development. Uh, we're talking about the uh, fourth uh, industrialization, and we talk about uh, the information society, and uh, all this you know, cannot uh, just uh, go without ITU, in my opinion. You know, that, uh, I met uh, with the uh, Secretary General of the uh, United Nations earlier this week, and he also clearly told me that uh, you know, ITU should be in the center of this kind of uh, development. So I was uh, very pleased to uh, have his uh, encouragement. Uh, he, 
uh, gave us a message last year at our WTDC that uh, in his opinion, ICT is a very powerful tool which can help us to achieve SDG, each and every SDGs. So uh, I, I think the key to, in his message, of course, in, inspire us, and we have to work very hard. And um, but on the other hand, as far as organization concerned, you have organization advantages. You have also the challenges, the problems of organization. So I, I just mentioned that efficiency is one issue, transparency and um, also to create a good environment to let our staff to enjoy uh, because the staff is our asset. If, if you do not uh, have good environment for, for staff to, to enjoy to work there rather than just come here to work for money. I think that the, uh, for those uh, enthusiastic contributing to the organizations and those who just come here for salary, uh, it will make a big difference. And uh, why ITU is uh, so appreciated by people, I think we have very good staff. So this one, you know, as far as the organization concerned, we, need, we really have to, to, you know, to, you know, to work together to you know, uh, further uh, improve ITU's uh, environment. Uh, but uh, more importantly, in my opinion, the, for the future of uh, uh, our development, uh, of our organizations, to have industry as our partners, to have industry consider uh, IT as their home is absolutely key for our success because it's the industry who develop standards, so it's the industry who develop businesses. And if we do not have industry with us, industry including the big ones, the small ones, the medium sized ones, all the industry partners, I think that. Uh, you know, you talked about uh, telecom industry, you talk about satellite industry, you talk about television industry, broadcast industry, and uh, you talk about OTT industry. All these are uh, quite important for our future of uh, information society. But all these must consider ITU as their natural home. But this is still a challenge to us. We have to create a good environment to convince them this is their home. And, so this, um, I think, that uh, uh, give us uh, challenges. But uh, uh, what is good, uh, in my opinion, that uh, I see more and more sectors, industry members to join us. For example, Google, Facebook, Alibaba, they one after the other joined IT recently. And uh, new, uh, we are also working with uh, our members to create a good environment, to encourage this for example, startups, you know, that uh, small uh, entrepreneurs, you know, find a way to join us. And we also invite uh, university to join us. So all this, I think that uh, we needed to, to uh, you know, to, to uh, consider our organizations uh, as, uh, you know, some kind of innovative and uh, good uh, uh, environment for people to enjoy to work with us. and. Uh, also, you know, uh, another thing I also consider that uh, everybody recognizes ICT importance. Uh, now everybody appreciates ITU, but uh, from our side, uh, we really have to open our mind to try to look for good partnership with uh, everybody who wish to work with us, rather than to tell the others that no, it's our business. You should not do that. I think that is uh, is not correct uh, uh, attitude. So I tried my best to create this kind of. Uh, Images environment. Of course, we also encourage our media friends to help us, and we have not done enough. We are not that good. So I wish to, you know, to further uh, extend uh, good cooperation with our uh, media. I wanted to ask you, how do you think we can bring together ITU's incredible heritage, 153 years so far, and its cutting-edge work to remain relevant in today's fast-paced world? I think we have to be uh, very good uh, in the uh, in the front line, that rather than to be requested to do something. If there is a, a new uh, technology such as artificial intelligence, and uh, we see that our industry is working on this one, and we should try to work together with them to to you know to try to develop uh, the business. And uh, of course, we cannot do everything. For it's clear. But we will uh, put everything, you know, uh, which is in our mandate, in our competence, and try to work with industry, help industry to develop uh, 
uh, standards for new technologies. Uh, we have to promote uh, new st new technologies, and uh, we have to also, you know, to, to work with uh, the other partners to see how can we uh, further extend, uh, you know, some kind of uh, association, allies, you know, partnerships so that uh, we can all enjoy to work together rather than to fight each other. You know, so I, I think that. Uh, um, as far as uh, ICT technology is concerned, of course, today also you, you have to understand that uh, 20 years ago, not many standardization uh, organizations, ITU uh, is uh, one of a few who established uh, uh, international organization for technology standardization uh, work. Today, you know, the industry Sometimes they move very fast. They want to go, you know, quickly with their technology, with their innovations. Uh, so therefore, they create a lot of uh, uh, fora and consortia to develop their own standards. So now, uh, it's no longer the case that the ITU or ISO, IEC, these so-called three big guys, you know, to can monopolize the work of standardization of technologies. Uh, but that is not a problem for me because the industry, if they uh, moving fast uh, with their technologies, uh, you know, with their own standards, it's already accepted by the market. You know, I, I think that it will be also good because the market is so huge that you, you need to give everybody a chance. But on the other hand, if you really want to have a global market, then you have to have global ideas and global standards, then in the world there are not many. So IT is one of them, and our IT may be the only in the world that the ITU is only global intergovernmental standardization technology organizations. And uh, within UN, we have many you know, uh, UN agencies, but I'm afraid uh, only ITU, not only to talk about uh, technology development, uh, social development, but also ITU also develop uh, industry standards to help uh, the global family to use new technologies. And ITU has a lot of things uh, to enjoy. And ITU also has a lot of opportunities to be further developed. So I'm very optimistic that uh, in ITU we uh, have another 153 years, uh, at least in the future, to you know to help the global family to you know to use uh, ICT. Unless ICT disappeared, that then maybe we don't need uh, anyone. And then you don't need I. But in my opinion that the ICT will be always good to us to help people. And, and as soon as ICT is still there, IT will be there. We look forward to catching up with you again in the future. And thank you very much indeed for being with us today in the studio. Thank you. Thank you.